space. It's f***ing massive. Captain's Log, the year 2258. I, Captain Yallop, have been granted official command of the new vessel of Starfleet, the UK Enterprise. Having just left my home planet Pluto and just arriving on board, it is time to meet my new crew with hopefully a warm welcome. Welcome to the UK Enterprise spaceship, Captain. I am Spec. I shall be your advisor on board. I hear you Vulcans are a rare breed. Uh, actually, I'm half human, half Yorkshire. Wonderful! It's good to be here. I've just traveled from my planet Pluto. Uh, Pluto is not a planet, Captain. It's too small. What? When the hell was this? If Pluto isn't a planet, then midgets aren't humans. By the way, what happened to your last Captain? Well, we found out he was Italian. And we all know the last time an Italian took helm of a ship, it went tits up. So we didn't want to make the same mistake. What made you want to explore space, Captain? Well, Spec, when I was young, my father always told me, never run away from your problems. So I thought I'd do the complete opposite and travel two billion light years away. Plus, space travel is amazing. The adventures, the views. I mean, look out that window, Spec. From this far out in space, you can look down at planet Earth, and even this high up, you can see that huge freak wave. Well, Scousers do have big hands. Come now, let me introduce you to the rest of the crew. Okay, but first I need to use the bathroom. Uh, Captain, they're not automatic sliding doors. You have to open them manually. Thanks! Uh, maybe I'll meet the crew now, actually. Well, over here is our weapons and communications officer, Ahura. Why, hello. I can sense that you're sexually excited by me. Ah, telekinetic powers, I see. No, it's just that you put your hands on my breasts. Sorry, where I'm from, that's how we say hello. You should see how we say goodbye. How do you say goodbye? Oh, we just say goodbye. Captain, I hope I'm not being too forward, but are you sure you're up to the task of leading us? Can you focus on the mission? Are you devoted? Fear not, Ahura. I am always up to the task and always fully devoted. So, do you take it up the Stargate? Ugh, there's a word for people like you. Straight? Incompetent. Now, Ahura, calm yourself. He is the captain. Well, tell me something, Ahura. I hope I'm not too forward, but what do you actually know about space? I know the galaxy is made of neutrons, protons, electrons, and in this case, morons. I can tell we're going to get along just fine, Horror. Don't worry, it's always awkward at first, but I'm sure you'll warm up to me. I can be quite the gentleman, you know. Could you take your hands off my breast now, please? Sorry. And over here is our Liverpool and fat pilot, Spuddy. Ah, I've always wanted to work with an android. I'm not an android, Captain. I'm just in a wheelchair. Ah, same difference. Why are you in a wheelchair? Have you seen the size of me? Indeed, but I will not let you go about having that embarrassing, awful, insulting name. I shall call you something more appropriate. Hot Wheels. Uh, thanks. So, Captain, what is our destination? Let's go and explore where no man has explored before. We could be the first to land on the moon. People landed on the moon 289 years ago, Hot Wheels. Oh, in that case, we could be the first to land on the sun. You can't land on the sun, you idiot. You'll burn up. Duh, we'll go at night. <sighs> I wish your parents had never met. Now, gather round, everyone. As captain, I have a few ground rules. First rule, no Vulcan gripping your joystick on the spaceship. You know what I mean. Some of these rooms don't have gravity. After a while, I'll be like living in a giant snow globe. Second rule, I must always have a spinning chair. Uh, we don't have those on board, Captain. Christ on a Klingon! We can create space travel, but not a bloody spinning chair! We even had a spinning chair in training. What sort of things were you taught in your training? Well, Spec, the most important lesson I learned was how to cope under pressure, to accept fear in the face of certain death, and, and to maintain control over oneself and one's crew. Captain, alien spaceships are heading this way. We're all gonna die! Captain, calm down. I recommend we open fire. No! I have an idea. We can make this ship undetectable to the human eye. They won't even look in our direction. No one will ever notice us. A cloaking device? No, I was just gonna paint the ship ginger. Captain, we need a decision. <sighs> Everyone, to their stations, quick! We'll do an old strategic move they taught us in the academy. Let's turn around and bugger off. As you wish, Captain. Ugh, oh, this is more stressful than I thought. Uh, Captain, may I have a word? I can give you two. I mean, what is it, Spec? Your decision to retreat, was that logical? Could we not have checked to see if there was any captives on board? Look, Mr. Clever Clogs, I understand your concern, but the point is we were outgunned, outmatched, and outnumbered. I did what was best for our team by heading back in safe direction. Remember who you're talking to, my emotionless, pointy-eared advisor? Don't talk down to me, you insufferable dullard feces collecting, nauseating assault on the senses, degenerate, gaudy, blood-curdling, depraved orgy of subhuman indecency, decadent, sheep-molesting, hysterical, massive, wobbling inanity. 
I can use fancy words too, you know, you tit. Guys, please, you two have to learn to work together. Put aside your differences. Captain, there seems to be some sort of meteor shower hidden this way. That's no meteor shower, that's floating words in, in space, in a galaxy far, far away. What the? Who the hell left that there? God, this is exciting. Play that dramatic instrumental, Hot Wheels. This isn't the right one. Sorry. Quick, open fire! Blast it! I can't! The controls are all sticky and covered in chocolate and caramel! Hot Wheels, will you stop eating that deep fried Mars bar around the controls? I'm giving it all I've got, Captain! We're gonna hit it. Watch out! We've taken damage! Hot Wheels, these chocolate covered controls, are you responsible for this? No, I'm irresponsible. That's why I did it. You idiot. Captain, it would be most logical to land on the nearest sphere to mend this spaceship. <sighs> okay, set a course for the nearest planet. Uh, how far away is that? Two billion light years away. Christ on the Klingon! I hope this thing has a sat nav. We have space warp. I knew that. Frost is on full, Android. My name is Sporty! <laughs> Oh, that was quick. I say, this seems like a nice, dusty, open, vast planet. I wonder what the locals look like. Hot Wheels, get the binoculars out and have a look around. <gasps> Captain! Say what you think, Hot Wheels. I'm speechless. Oh, that makes sense. Captain, slug-like creatures are hidden this way. Good God! Don't worry, Captain. If they attack us, I'll pepper them. I wish I had a lower IQ so that I could enjoy your company, Hot Wheels. Here they come. Wait, one of them is trying to speak. <laughs> What did it say, Ohora? I don't know. Can't understand what it's saying. You're supposed to be the communications officer. Welcome to our planet. Ah, at least you speak English. We all do. You just spoke to the one that's pissed. Ah, fair enough. Tell me, what exactly are your species? We are cold-blooded reptilian-like creatures that made for thousands of years non-stop. And what do you call your race? The Kardashians. Ah, <laughs> okay, Kardashian. Take me to your leader. You just landed on him. Whoops. Uh, tell me, how come you Kardashians didn't try communicating with us humans before? We tried communicating with you humans eons ago. We sent you transmissions mocking your species that once you hear it makes you a degraded, slow-minded vegetable that shrinks your genitals. But you humans learned to dance to it and named it Dubstep. Now hand over the woman so we can mate with her, or you will be forced to drink deadly neurotoxins that turn you into brain-dead, mentally-challenged morons. Well, tap water from Essex. Whoa, what's with the hostility? Somebody from Starfleet sent a message to our planet saying you're the ugliest creatures we have ever seen. I bet you have to take Rohypnol just to look in the mirror. Huh, <laughs> don't look at me. I wasn't implying it was you, we just- No, seriously, don't look at me, you are hideous. Right, that's it, take the female- Wait, don't take a horror. You want a hostage? Then take someone who can stare death in the face without a shudder of fear. Oh, Captain, I knew you would be brave. You've got that right. Take the one in the wheelchair, it's bloody useless. Thanks, Captain. Enough! Grab her and open fire! Ew! Let go of me! Captain! We'll save you, Ahura. Oh my god! They've taken her! Captain, we must go after them. We have to learn to work together and put aside our differences. You're right, Spec. I've been an arrogant fool. But I'll learn my mistakes on the way of this exciting adventure and be a good captain to everyone. Now go make me some coffee. I'll need it after I return from saving this damsel. Remember, Captain, live long. Uh, is that it? Of course I want to live long. What sort of thing is that? Christ. That's okay. <sighs> and now, to end this cliffhanger on a catchy, smart, sexy epilogue... Captain, we've run out of coffee. Oh, for fuck! <laughs> Credits go to me, Jack Yallop, Josh Woodman, Dan Whitman, and Sue Haler. But most of all, and most importantly, credit goes to me.